Hey y'all, welcome back to My Real California Life. Uh, I told you earlier I was going to go ahead and do a video showing you um, how I make my taco salad. So I thought I would go ahead and show you what I do. Now normally, while I have the meat cooking, I go ahead and get everything else ready. So I have my skillet going at the same thing about 350, how I did the chicken thighs earlier. And the same thing, I actually have three pounds, instead of the chicken thighs, I'm doing chicken tenders. Again, the little boneless, skinless chicken tenders, the same that I use when I do my chicken strips. Again, the chicken's from Butcher Box. So the same thing, I rinsed it, I put it on a platter, and I put um, chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, my total seasoning, which again is salt, garlic, oregano, parsley, and cilantro. And then I put the seasoned pepper. So these actually, um, the tenders are super small, so they only take about 10 minutes to cook, honestly. Um, probably five minutes on each side, and that might even be, you know, a little much. So you just gotta kinda check them. Like I said, they're small, they're thin, so they cook really quick. So we'll get a load going on those, and then while those are going, I'll show you guys what else we do with it. So, I mean, you can see I just put those in, and I mean, you can already see it's already, you know, white cooking. So, I'm gonna grab my pan. Excuse me. Stick my lid on that. It just keeps it, you know, moister. Keeps it nice and juicy. Okay, I'll show you now over here. I actually already put it on. I just do, um, I have a can of organic black beans and organic whole corn, whole kernel corn with no salt added. And then what I do is put the same thing, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, um, a little bit of my seasoned pepper, and then chili powder. Um, and I normally, I was just heated it up, so I'm gonna actually just put it on low because it's already pretty warm and it's just gonna basically keep it warm while the rest of the stuff's cooking. Now over here, at my counter I have all the stuff. Now I have organic baby romaine, which I love romaine lettuce. I don't use iceberg, I'll tell you, because iceberg basically has no nutritional value. Um, some people like it because, you know, some people I hear say, you know, it's crispy, it's better, it doesn't have the overwhelming, like, vegetable flavor if you don't like vegetables, but iceberg lettuce is basically all water, has no nutritional value. So, you have to eat the leafy greens, the darker greens, those are what are better for you. Um, I do like romaine. The, I have a couple heads of romaine here, so what I'm going to do, the baby romaine is a little bit softer. It's more like a spinach. So to add a little bit of crunch, I'm going to go ahead and chop up the two heads of romaine and add that with it. I also have my cherry, excuse me, these are grape tomatoes. I'm just going to probably chop in half. I have some olives I'm going to chop in half. Um, this is just avocado I had. I cut it up because I wasn't actually sure if it was still good, honestly. But luckily, it was all still good, so I just loosely kind of mashed it so it's still chunky and just added lemon juice. And honestly, the lemon juice is more just because it helps the avocado from turning brown. So, while the meat's cooking, I'm going to get all that stuff ready. Now, my husband likes to have it with Fritos because that's how he used to have it when he was younger. Fritos aren't that, ex um, excuse me, they're not that healthy though. I did get ones with 50% less sodium, so they're a little bit better. I like the blue corn tortilla chips. Um, those are my favorite. If you don't want, you know, carbs or the chips, you don't have to do it. Just do the salad. It's amazing. We just do it. It adds a little bit of crunch in there. It's nice. Um, and then I also have sour cream, salsa, and some nacho cheese. And then we'll put out some regular you cheese mean, also. You saw me. I'm a zombie? You're crazy. You're a zombie. Thanks. Okay, we're going to pause this and no, get everything I ready. No, I see my whole skin. Are those karate moves? That was awesome. Okay, we're just going to pause it real quick to get the stuff prepared, and then we're going to come back and show them. Say, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. 
Okay, so real quick before I show you guys um, everything that's ready, I'm going to show you the dressing. Now, you can do whatever. Um, sometimes I don't do the dressing. I like sour cream, so the sour cream kind of makes, you know, kind of like a dressing with the flavoring of the chicken and so on and so forth. Excuse me. Or if you want to do, you know, pork or ground beef and you do it with taco seasoning, that kind of already has flavoring. So... My husband, this is the way, you know, his mom made it. So he really likes this dressing. So we do it. And actually, it's really good. My kids love it, too. So Thousand Island, basically. But, you know, mayonnaise. And I have my, you know, Trader Joe's real mayonnaise. Um, yes, we use mayonnaise. You don't have to not use mayonnaise, you know. Just, again, moderation. So I do about equal parts. So I did probably, like... Mm, half a cup of mayo, so, you know, I'm going to do about a half a cup of ketchup, and you can see, um, and then I put, excuse me, sweet relish, and I don't normally like sweet relish, I just, I like dill pickles, but sweet relish goes good with this, so maybe a couple tablespoons, you know, it depends on how you like it. And again, you know, it's, uh, I think it's basically like, you know, Thousand Island or like a, you know, all the restaurants call this their secret sauce, you know, like, but it's all the same thing. That's, that's basically what it is. So that's what my boys like to use as their dressing on the taco salad. So could it be healthier? Yeah, you know, probably. Um, I'd say instead of mayo, use Greek yogurt, you know, and uh, low-fat ketchup. Ketchup's kind of hard to replace, but uh, definitely, I bet if you did Greek yogurt, it would probably make it, you know, a little less fattening. But, okay. Thousand Island, basically. So, let me move this stuff real quick. Sorry. And I'm going to show you guys. We're pretty much all ready to go. So, again, we have our dressing. While the meat was cooking, I got all this stuff just ready. I just cut the grape tomatoes in half, cut the olives up, a little bit of onion. I know it's hard to see. I have some grated cheese, my avocado that I loosely, you know, mushed, some organic black beans and corn that I heated up with just a little bit of chili powder and, you know, salt, pepper. And then my chicken tenders that are lightly seasoned, excuse me, um, and just sautéed in my pan. And you can, you know, eat those whole on the set on the salad, or um, you know, chop them up into pieces. We got the mixed lettuce, sour cream. I got the Fritos mashed up, and then the blue corn tortilla chips and salsa. So again, if you don't want to, excuse me, I got something in my eye and I think I got makeup all over. Sorry. If you don't want to, you know, have the chips, don't have it. Just have the taco salad. You don't need that. You can add everything else and it's still, you know, super good. Add whatever else you want with it. Um, peppers, um, carrots, cucumbers, whatever. Make it even more. Add a bunch more awesome vegetables. But again, you know, that wasn't hard, and that's a, you know, pretty healthy, easy dinner where we're definitely going to have leftovers tomorrow, and since it's all separate like this, it won't get yucky, you know. I can throw some salad or some lettuce into a Ziploc bag, put some chicken into a bag, you know, a couple of containers, and then my husband can throw it all together at work, mix it up, and eat it for lunch tomorrow. So, again... There's our taco salad. I hope you guys liked it. Thank you again for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.